In today's video, we're going to focus on the second stage of Sidney Poitier's portrait made in charcoal pencils. And today we will focus on the texture of the skin. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julieta. I am a self-taught portrait artist. I'm glad you're here. So let's go straight to the video. So in our first stage, you guys have seen that we have done the general details and outline of what you should do in order to set the foundation for a portrait in charcoal pencils and charcoal powder and all the materials that I have already told about and that I will keep introducing. And today we will just focus mainly on getting more specific as far as the skin goes. And those are little steps that are going to help us go from general to specific and make the details that would make it look realistic. What we're going to focus on right now is going to be on this part right here. We are going to do, to apply more depth, we're going to do some pores and some black and whites. So as we can see, well, the tools that we're gonna use are going to be a brush. We're going to use my favorite, which is the Mono Zero Eraser. And we're going to use a Tortillion. We're going to see what type of thicknesses we're going to need. And if we need more darkness, we're going to use just a regular charcoal. This is medium thickness. It's kind of soft. It's not as soft as a regular extra soft or super soft pencil, but it's almost there. We're going to use a kneaded eraser if we need it. And we're going to use my best friend, the sanded paper with a charcoal powder. And how do we get the charcoal powder? We get it by having these and we wrap them on the sandpaper and that's how you create some charcoal powder. Okay, so let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is basically we have most of the values already there. We can apply a little bit more of uh, dark and how are we gonna do the dark? By this, I still have some residue left. So I'm, we're gonna apply a little bit over here. Not very much, so be careful. Not very much. I mean, you can always remove, but it's good not to go too overboard. It's always good to just take your time and do it slowly. No rush. Just follow the reference photo and as best as you can. And then just make more modifications as you need. So here, since we have this part of the face, which is the part where a little bit of, um, right where the cheekbone is, and then the face starts to go down. This is why it's a little darker. Why? Because it's like a little bit of a dent that the face makes. It's kind of goes down, um, like here, for example, this, you know, like this area here, you can't really see it very well because we're just focusing on this area. But that's kind of, um, what it is. That's why it's a little bit darker. Okay, so I think we're kind of done laying like all the charcoal. Now, now we're gonna go to the fun part. Most of, like the star of this stage of this video is going to be the eraser. This is literally an eraser, but it's just a fine tip eraser. It's really, really neat. And you can always use, uh, where is my paper? I think I forgot it. I'm gonna hear it. You can use some like tracing paper, or onion paper, or whatever you would like to, because you're gonna to need to put your hand here so you don't smudge, no, you don't make any smudging out with your fingers with the oils from your skin. So let's see if we can put it here so you can all see well. Now we're going to start giving it a little bit of a highlight here on the upper eyelid and a little bit here as well. And it's all about like, it's interesting that one thing that people need to know that is, you know, a mistake that we all make at the beginning. We go crazy with this and we start applying uh, using the eraser for like everything, but that's a mistake. Always make sure to do, to, you know, less is more in this case. 
make sure you apply it where you're supposed to, not just freely everywhere because it's going to defeat the purpose of realism. Highlights need to go where they need to go, period. If you start applying them everywhere else and in other areas, it's going to become a little confusing. It's going to become two-dimensional instead of three-dimensional. What we want is a 3D effect. Okay, so we're going to do little bits here. And this is when you're going to start having fun and just get to know your own style and technique. See how you start applying. See, little dabs here and there, like, not like things like this but just like with a light hand just go just do this remember there are no mistakes like Bob Ross used to say just happy accidents <laughs> but the good thing about this is that you can always go back and erase or apply more charcoal um, whatever the case may be so here you can actually see you know like this is how you create texture this is how it's done. Don't be too, don't stress too much about doing it exactly as the reference picture. Just try to follow the same type of pattern, but it's not necessary to go totally like, oh, it has to be exactly the same because human skin is ever changing. Even for the same person, it can change and it's always going to look natural. So all these little pores don't really have to be exactly the same way as in the re um, reference picture. But what's important is to kind of follow the lines because there are always imaginary lines. That's something that we're going to cover in another video. Faces are pretty much, and it's a very simple concept, but faces are just a whole bunch of um, geometrical shapes put together. Once you start seeing faces like that, everything will make a lot more sense. It's just a bunch of geometrical shapes put together to create a face. So here, I'm just doing this. I know it's kind of a tedious um, process, but trust me when I tell you that the more you do it, the more little detail you apply, the better it's going to look in the final result. It's all about detail, especially if what you're looking for, if what you're after is a realistic looking portrait. Nothing more, nothing less. And paying a lot of attention, watching, having a good eye, attention to detail. Okay, so here we go. Here's some, some pores. Let's see. And there we go. We keep going. I should show you guys the uh, the reference picture. I just don't want to take it out at the moment because if I do, and it does take a while to <laughs> set everything the way it's supposed to be. But going back to what we're doing right now, remember. And I'm going to do a little something a little different right now. So um, we're going to take, just to show you, this is a tortilla. And, and, and uh, tortillas work better. I mean, the more used they are, like the more residue they have in them, the better they work. So we're going to do this. Like this. There we go. See? So you can start working on shading and then making it darker if necessary while you're doing this. Just keep going back and forth to also make the process more fun instead of doing always the same thing. So this is how you create the pores and this is all there is to it. Just make sure there's no technique, a specific technique. It's just following the pattern that you see in the reference picture so the number one step, like I said before in the other video, lay the charcoal powder as similar as possible as the reference picture. And then once you have that, once you have it laid on the paper, that's when you do the, the pores and the, and the texture. 
And well, that's what we have for this video. And in the next one, we are going to start focusing on the nose. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here with me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to leave your questions and your comments down below. That way I'm going to know what you took out of this, what you would like to know, what things you think that I missed, or just any comments that you might want to leave. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you all in my next video.